we're here at Park Plaza on Westminster Bridge for a red carpet <laughs> event. We're here for the Joysticks 2010. Who will win? Who will come away with nothing? And who will cry on stage? All those questions will be answered. So let's head on in and get the golden joysticks out. and we've just won Action Game of the Year for Assassin's Creed 2. I just think that um, it's a real standout franchise and uh, there's, there's so much to the actual to the actual game itself. I think, you know, we have a fantastic world, very charismatic hero, compelling storyline. There's just so many different things that, that the game offers and I think people recognise and, and can see that. Great! That sounds really bad! Yay! <laughs> what are you looking forward to? I'd actually like to try an Xbox, as my ex-boyfriend, I bought one and he ran off with it. Oh, so if okay. anyone would like to donate an Xbox to me and you know try and break me in in that sort of way, then okay. yeah, that would be fantastic. Excellent, good to hear. Wee, so I can do the Wii Fitness, that's quite cool. My name's John Edney, I work for Guitar Hero. And I'm Keith Cox, I do trade marketing for Guitar Hero. And we have just won Music Game of the Year. Game of the year. Rock and roll. What did it, guys? Uh, I think it was just like, you know, the excellent track list that we uh, always try to maintain in Guitar Hero. You know, there's a huge amount of variety and, you know, classic rock and, and sort of pop that we introduced in, in GH5 or certainly more mainstream. And just, you know, the, the fact that you can play Guitar Hero any way you want to, any combination of instruments, you know, and it's a solid brand that people recognise. Anyone can play Guitar Hero, you know? Anyone? Yeah, Anyone. yeah your mum, your gran, your dog, nearly. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're working, that's the next one. We've seen some cats on DJ Hero, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite the same. My name's James Honeywell, and I'm marketing manager at Nintendo. Um, and I've just picked up the Portable Game of the Year award for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So the evolutions of the product over and over. So the, the game is kind of constantly evolving, offering new things, offering new Pokemon. And it's built on the principles of things that kind of kids really enjoy or, and fans really enjoy, which is you know, collect those Pokemon, battle and trade. All of those things are kind of fundamental to the, the success of this format. Uh, my name is James Holt from Xbox and we picked up Racing Game of the Year for Forza 3 on Xbox 360. From a Forza perspective at E3, they talked about Forza as a franchise coming to Connect, so Connect launching on the 10th of uh, November. So, yeah, really looking to looking forward to seeing what uh, Turn 10 do with, with Forza when uh, obviously they have kind of no controller and you are the controller with Connect. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, my name is John Goddard. I'm international manager for PR for EA Games Label and I've just picked up the award for Role Playing Game of the Year, Mass Effect 2. I always like to dabble with the dark side, um, always did with Bioware games of the past, with Knights of the Old Republic, I've always liked, like the evil side because I'm such a nice person in real life, obviously. Uh, it's nice to kind of step over to the dark side and make those uh, decisions that are maybe a little bit um, morally dubious. And I think that's actually what a lot of gamers love about games this is that they can perhaps live out some of their slightly darker fantasies. We just won the, I never remember, sorry, the online game of the year award, I'm so bad. And stress. Yeah, that's the so stress. Tough. So we're really happy and we like once again to thank our community. Thank you, that's thanks to you. You own this as well, so that's the thing. Well, we have like constant updates. Everything's like coming all the time. Everything's rolling in. It's all awesome stuff. Really high quality, great things to play. The guys over in LA, like working on the game, they put so much effort into it and it's just awesome. The stuff coming out was great. But on top of that, we've got like a really great community and the community have just really put the heart and soul into it. They give us so much support and thanks to them. My name is Craig Fairbrass and um, I'm an actor, but I also did the voice on Call of Duty 4 playing the role of Gaz. And in the last game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I was Ghost. Yeah. So, so you're... Oh, look at the cameraman, he's all shocked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest with you, I really, really, when I first did the first game, I mean, I'm, no disrespect to, to gamers and games, but you're an actor. Someone says you want to do a voice in a game, you go, yeah, all right. That'd be, that'd be fun. And I, and I didn't really realise the, uh, the colossalness of it until Modern Warfare 2 when it came out and I went to the launch in Leicester Square and it was shut off and it was as big as the Expendables. And then the emails and the, and the, and the fan requests and the letters after, all of a sudden I was a part of something that was bigger than anything I'd ever did. 
My name's Simon Smith and I, uh, I work for EA Sports and we've just picked up the award for Sports Game of the Year, which is FIFA 10. I'm going to say the ultimate football game, really. You know, we want people to think about EA Sports and FIFA in the same way that they think about the Premiership. You know, it's it's a simulation of football. This is this is the the biggest award, I think, of the lot. I mean, there are there are obviously a ton of awards through the year, and you want to win them all. Um, and you sit there at those tables, you know, just praying and just hoping that you'll win something. And when you do, it really matters. But this one matters so much because it is voted for by uh, by punters. And uh, and again, the Golden Joysticks, what 28th year I think they're in, and you know, again, just just voted for by the by the players. That that matters more than anything. It's huge. We're from Activision. We've just picked up the One to Watch Award for Call of Duty Black Ops. I think there's so much to go at in terms of, you know, the single player campaign will be fantastic. It'll be full of eye catching moments. Uh, I think the multiplayer will be just as addictive. Uh, and then you've got zombies on top of that, so there's something for everyone. Yeah, I think there's loads. I think Black Ops is just going to be a whole kind of experience that, um, that fans and players are going to love. So it's hard to kind of say just one point that anyone yeah. would love. I'm Christoph. I'm the head of RuneScape, the online uh, multiplayer online game um, that has been going for the last 10 years. And it is due to our community that we got this uh, Golden Joystick Award for the UK Developer of the Year. Uh, I'm Mark Gerhard. I'm the CEO of Jagex. Uh, it's my job to make sure he has everything he needs so he can have the world's best game in the world. This is probably the industry award that we look for. We don't tend to uh, be get excited genuinely about anything else except this one. Because, as you say, it's the one voted for by the players. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess receiving this tells us we're doing something right. Uh, we've been running RuneScape.com for 10 years now. It's the world's biggest free online game. Holds four Guinness World Records uh, for the world's biggest game. And, uh, you know, I think that's a great uh, accolade to Christoph and his team for creating amazing content over those 10 years, uh, updates every two weeks. Um, but crucially, this is, it, it's the community that did this and the communities in the millions and hundreds of millions perhaps if you uh, and uh, you know they brought this one home for us I think that tells us they really enjoy what we're doing for them okay hi, I'm Victoria Hollings um, from Pop Cup and we're just on strategy game of the year <laughs> you've got another award I do indeed um, just I'm... buy along <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh, I'm Caviar and this is uh, the download game of the year also for Plants vs Zombies we had you know such ridiculous fun making Plants vs Zombies um, much of which ridiculous fun I think you can actually see in the game um, and for us it's just it's been so rewarding to see so many people kind of get in on that fun and I think that's the thing about Plants vs Zombies that so many different types of people enjoy the game so little kids their grandparents uh, gamers, people who think they don't like games, <laughs> all sorts of people kind of can get in on the act. On the surface level, it's just a fun game, bat, 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 kill some zombies, eat some brains. It's, it's a lot more, it's so deep, you can play on so many different levels. You know, that, that, that's what it's all about. You, you can have, be a casual player, jump in, play, come out again, you can play it for hours if you want to. You know, it's it's for everybody. Do. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was good. We're here, we've just finished the Golden Joysticks. I'm here with Sven from Spong. Introduce yourself, Sven from Spong. I'm Sven from Spong. And I'm also what's known as the Party Viking. So it's going to get real in a little while. It's going to get real. It's going to get real right now. Right. Joysticks, what do they mean to you? You know, they're voted by the public. You know, the people who play games, yeah, yeah, they yeah. vote for it. That's a special thing. The joysticks, yeah. The golden joystick. It's funny, really, because I remember when the golden joysticks were going around when I was a kid. So, and now I'm reporting on the golden joysticks. So it's a bit weird. Oh, it's all comfortable circle, man. It's funny, actually, as well, because I speak, I've spoken to quite a few, you have as well, I've spoken to quite a few of the winners, and they're sitting there going, well, you know, 20 odd years ago, we were reading the magazines, we were reading the uh, the games websites and stuff, thinking, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we were the winners of this prestigious event? And now they are. So, you know, it's all come full circle. It's kind of gone a whole generation. So, big name event. Uh, glad to be here. And um, yeah, yeah. And of course, the game, the gamers kind of vote for it as well, don't they? So, um, there's there's two sides to that, really. I mean, on the one hand, it can get a bit predictable, you know, like yeah, Super yeah, Street yeah, Fighter yeah. Four. That's gonna win fighting game. I've heard of these fighting games. Exactly. That, oh, have you heard of the fighting games? Oh, yeah, no. The, the ones where you, you kind of hit people. You hit people in the face. Yeah, and you have a bar and stuff. It's, it's wicked. You know, you should check it out. Yeah. But and FIFA 10, football game of the year, or sports game of the year, sorry. It was like, yeah, going to happen. But, right, there were a few surprises in that Final Fantasy 13 got best soundtrack, and I was well gunning for Brutal Legend. I was like, oh, yeah, Brutal yeah, Legend? Yeah, yeah. What is this madness? Oh. 
man gutting. But it's alright, because Square Enix are nice people anyway. So I, as soon as I went up to him, I was like, congratulations on your win! And then I was leaving, I was going, so, like, like most journalists. You to win. <laughs> if, if, if our cameraman could run over to that table and grab a piece of paper, and then magically like bring it into the shot, yes. that would be amazing. Or the powers of magical hand papery waving things. So, Oh, I've been, oh, I've been handed. Are we talking? <laughs> are we? Are we talking uh, Modern Warfare Two or Cod, Cod Blobs? Cod um, Blobs being Call of Duty Black Ops. It is, it's, it's the way we call you're it. Work, you're working it. Cod Blobs. It's the way forward. Well, I didn't make up that name, you know. It just, just so we're clear, it's not my name. But you know, we're bringing it back. We're, we're bringing it back. We're bringing what? it back. You know, it was made up a couple of months ago. Now, now it should be brought back. It should be the name Cod Egg. Blobs. Egg. It sounds like fish. It does. It does. It sounds. It sounds like cod. Blops, whatever a blop is. Blop I don't really know. Let's not discuss what blops okay. are. All right? yeah, we're, okay, we're gonna, we're, this is not PG-13 material. <laughs> it's not PG-13 to, to you know criticise someone live on, not live, but you know live on it on TV. On, on the, right, okay. Um, biggest, you know, lots of lots of awards. Congratulations to all of them. We we love the, we love the games. The video games are games good. Games are good, good to play, and they make us happy. They do. Um, what's been your favourite? Okay, out of that list, what's your favourite winner? Right, let me run this by because this like, this whole event in the press press media room is just gone mental, and none of us have had any chance to have this sink in, which is why we have this. Yeah, right, yeah, so. yeah. It's like hand hand a piece of paper. Right? So I think the the one that's kind of jumping out at me, you know, more than anything else, um, is World of Goo. Like good on World of Goo, you know. I always look for the games that you know you know they're going to win because based on the fact that they're really awesome games, but you know that then they're kind of going to get muscled out a little bit by some of the bigger titles. And World of Goo has kind of proven its worth from a downloadable title to a retail PC game. So, you know, I'm really happy that that's done well. So, yeah, good on them. And obviously, well done to all the other winners and nominees. Indeed, and on that note, I'm, I'm getting thirsty. Like, my throat's starting to not have drink in it. There's a lot of water over there if you want to drink water. I'll be having the beers. Uh, okay, I'll have the water, you have the beer. I've got work to do. You've got work to do? Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Excellent. You've got work to do as well. <laughs> yeah. So do it instead of watching this. Yes, indeed. Thanks again for you to watch at home. Spong.com. We'll see you next year. Yeah.